So we just arrived in Mauritius and we just checked in at Le Méridien by Marriott and this is probably the nicest hotel we have ever stayed in. It is, it yeah. is nice, nice. I cannot wait to show you around. Okay, now let's see this. So, fun fact, um, David was actually out of country for our anniversary and we both forgot, like full on forgot. My family reminded me. Um, but you know who didn't forget was Bonfire. So they have planned this amazing anniversary trip for us and we can't be any more thankful towards them. So they even surprised us with happy anniversary on the bed here. And we have a couple gifts from the hotel as well. We'll try those out in a bit, probably tomorrow. So you come over here and we have a seating area. We even have a bottle of wine and which I can't wait to get into. Looks like macarons or something. They look great. <laughs> But this is probably one of the parts of the room that stands out the most. It is your mini bar section. And it's in this massive case. And it just, I don't know, the style of it, I love it. Now, a little bit further out, we have a balcony. And to be honest, I see sand there and ocean, but I cannot wake up, wait to wake up tomorrow and actually see the grand reveal. So let's go back and I'm going to show you the bathroom. Like every part of this hotel is just stunning. Come here. Look at this. We even have a bathtub in here. We've got our shower, our toilet, a wardrobe area, double sinks. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a great day and we just arrived even. So we'll definitely show you more around tomorrow. Uh, but we're gonna get some supper because it's nine o'clock and we haven't ate supper yet. Let's do that. As Tracy said, this entire trip, everything you're gonna see in this video, was organized by our friends at Bonfire Adventure. So from the moment we picked up our bags at the airport, honestly, we were still in the airport, and then we met up with the team that was organized by Bonfire. They had our name, they met us with bottles of water, they took over our luggage, it they was, helped us get it was the most. We met our tour guide. <laughs> it was the most seamless airport Amazing. experience I've ever had in my life. So yeah, it, yeah. it was a very, very good start. Yes, and you're gonna meet Jimmy later. We'll introduce you to Jimmy, our, our tour guide. <laughs> Tomorrow or the day after. You're gonna see a lot of Jimmy. We'll make sure to show you everything about this hotel. Tomorrow there's live music every night, but like, just have a quick look. It's stunning. Okay, so because we arrived late, uh, we decided to just come here at the buffet, but it is such a beautiful looking and very extensive buffet. Like they have everything. Tonight the team is like a Italian, so they have like pizza and pasta and other things, but like the food is just delicious. The calamaris are 10 out of 10. So we don't make the best decisions when we're tired. Um, we are very indecisive, couldn't figure it out, so we got way too many des desserts than we actually need. We need to go to bed, is what we need to do. <laughs> Just took a very nice and warm shower. Mm -hmm. Buffet was delicious. Yeah. And we're gonna see you guys in the morning. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so this is one thing that I do enjoy about arriving to a place late at night, is you don't really know where you're at. So come look at this view that we woke up to this morning. actually walking along the beach because last night it was too dark, we couldn't see where we were going, thought we were going to get lost, but not this morning. It's so beautiful. It is really nice. We can't wait to show you guys a little bit more about this place, but first let, let's go. So breakfast 
breakfast just like dinner last night. So much choices. The food was delicious. I'm a fan because the food is the most important thing in a trip. So I am I'm fulfilled inside. Now we're gonna go walk around and show you guys more of this beautiful hotel. So behind me is reception right there and then you have the entranceway where we arrived last night. We have a beautiful grand piano here as well. Bar area, we had a welcome drink that was very good. And then the back is called Nomad Restaurant and that's where you have your buffet style meals, your breakfast, your dinner, included on like your half board, full board. And then beautiful pool down there with the beach right in the background. So when you come down from reception, you're on to like the beach pool level. So we come over this side and this isn't fully set in stone, but basically this portion is adults only and they try and keep families on the other side. But actually way down there where we're gonna have sunset is actually strictly adults only. We have another pool down there, another restaurant, we've got a spa, a gym, and then over on this side, we have a pool with a bar in it two restaurants as well, which you're gonna see because we're gonna eat at them tonight. They even have a beautiful pool bar, like a bar straight in the pool. Big fan of that. suites as well and on this side of the resort the sweet side you have your own private pools as well giving it a little bit more of an exclusive feel so behind me is the boathouse and actually anything that's non-motorized is actually included here you just have to pay a little extra for the motorized one and they even have a kids club Enjoy this beautiful sunshine. So actually David just went to go get us some towels and one of the bar guys comes around. He's like, do you want this? He's like, don't worry, it's free. It's some type of like frozen peach tea almost I would say. It's really good, especially now that the heat and the sun is coming out. It is needed. So the, uh, the pool is a little chilly, but it's getting real hot and it's getting hotter by the second. So I feel like in an hour or two, uh, we'll really appreciate this It'll pool. <laughs> so I really want the bar still that's in the sun. I know I could walk around, but I'm not cheap enough. For me, I'm gonna keep walking around because I have a camera in my hands. So for lunch today, we are at Paparazzi, which is their Italian restaurant. I'm pretty excited because I do love a good Italian meal. <laughs> so like we said earlier, there's actually four restaurants on property. Uh, there's this one, the Italian one. Paparazzi. There's Nomad that has the buffets that you see in our dinner and breakfast. Uh, there's Cumin, which is in the... Indian restaurant. <laughs> I was about to say Italian. Indian influence restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> that one I don't think we're going to be able to try out. And then tonight, there is one that's like a Medi Mediterranean theme. Very exciting. Yes. It's gonna be nice. I can't pronounce the name, so we'll show you that later. <laughs> Hello oh, yeah. again. Okay, we brought the menus for Thank you. you very much. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. We've got pizza, we've got a sandwich. Ciabatta. It looks very good. Yeah. I'm actually pumped for my ciabatta. Yeah? Mmm. I love a lot of sauce on my pizza, like more sauce than cheese and anything else, and this yeah, is so do. saucy, it is amazing. I'm about to buy it for you too. Now it's time to experience the spa a little bit. And after the massage, I have to show you the coolest room I've ever seen in Africa.
That was nice. Got the signature massage yeah. marks left on our face. Very relaxing. Yeah. I'm a fan. Now let's go see outside because outside of the spa is is a is another world. This here is the other area of the spa and it has something very, very unique. More than just your typical jacuzzi and sauna, you'll see. So our post-massage experience start with the sauna, which is really hot. <laughs> to the one and only snow room. You heard that right. Le Méridien has one of the only snow room on the African continent. It's quite freezing. Feels like Canada in here. <laughs> no need for a passport. You can just come here to Mauritius. Well, you'll need a passport from the Mauritius. If but it comes in a snow. Canadian room. It's, it's just... An open border. <laughs> you gotta come here and enjoy the snow. Okay, but it is really cold. Let's go, let's go. And last but not least, the steam room. The perfect place <laughs> to warm up after, you know, coming back straight from Canada. Can you guys see me? <laughs> now that we are done with our little spa treatment, spa pimpering, <laughs> it's gonna be time for us to go uh, get ready yeah. for the sunset because this hotel is actually located pretty much on the west side of the island meaning that the sun goes down pretty much right there Beautiful and video. we have a very special spot tonight they hooked us up with something really cool yeah very <laughs> excited oh it's a little chilly on the belly like tracy says but uh, it's gonna be worth it This is the third and final pool. This is only for this side of the resort, adults exclusively, and they even have massage chairs in them. And this is where we're gonna watch sunset. So we just got our drinks. This is Tracy's new favorite drinks, the Vallée des Couleurs. And I got a local beer, a Phoenix. I'm a fan. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Itchy, itchy. Let me help. Let me help. There you go. Is it better? So that was a beautiful sunset. One of the best we've seen in a long time. And the good thing about Le Méridien here is that because of how it's positioned on the island, mm -hmm. there is just so many uh, sunset options, like even so many good places. Though, yeah, like, even our rooms. Yeah, yeah. So you may be wondering, like, why Mauritius? You have, like, Seychelles, Zanzibar, all those other places, Maldives even. It all comes down to, honestly, that here is the best bang for your buck, basically. Yeah. The value, the, you can still get the five star and the still have quality. a decent price point. Exactly. So if you're looking for like a true like luxury kind of yeah. vacation, but don't want to break the bank too much. Like the Maldives does. Exactly. <laughs> One day, <laughs> then uh, Mauritius is definitely the best option yeah. for you. Yeah. But Tracy, if I want to book a trip to Mauritius, who should I contact? I would call Bonfire Adventures. Contact down below. We put our nicest beach outfit. Yeah. And we're going for date night in a little restaurant by the beach. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. <laughs> would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be if I leave tonight? So the way they have the lighting here, and I don't say this in a bad way, but like it's almost prettier at night. Like it has that more intimate feel to it. I think it is stunning. So tonight we're having supper at Zoli Manzel. It's your Mediterranean uh, restaurant with a hint of Mauritius cuisine. So we ordered, we'll see how it is. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her... The appetizer was really, really good. Mine was full of flavor. Would definitely order like 10 of those for my meal. Sounds great. Stay till the morning light, or would you follow me?
very, very nice dinner. Highlight was your appetizer. Yeah, that my was so beef good. was really good, and both dessert. The oh, desserts I were like the chocolate mwah. dessert with the coffee. Ice cream. So so good. <laughs> but now I can. Can you hear that? I think I can hear our bed calling, us, calling us because it is the most comfy bed I've ever slept in. I don't even know how. Yeah. And we need some extra rest because tomorrow we're going on an adventure. An early morning adventure. It's always adventures are always early morning. <laughs> Good morning, this is Jimmy. Jimmy's part of the ground team uh, here in Mauritius. As soon as we landed, this is the first man we met and he's taking real good care of us. He's our driver and Hello. guide and today he's taking us to our next adventure. Okay. <laughs> so this morning we are going on a pretty much a full day Boat adventure, mm. I think we have a few stops. It's with Aqua Soleil. Try, yeah. try to say it. Aqua Soleil. There but my go. English brain wants to say it. So, Lele. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, it's going to be a full day, 9 to 4. Um, honestly, we don't know the itinerary. I tried to see I like peek surprises. Online, but I'm not really sure. Yeah. And this, than... this was all booked again uh, by Bonfire's yeah. Adventure. Uh, yeah. We didn't have to like do anything and it's something yeah. important. <laughs> so, a tip uh, with Mauritius where it can be very busy. It's very advisable to book your excursions even before you hit the hotels, even your spas, just because they can fill up so fast and yeah. you don't want to miss out. So, all aboard. Yeah. That's for train. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Thank you. So first stop, quick snorkeling session inside of Blue Bay and Tracy is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just adjusting. <laughs> One, two, three, First snorkel spot. We got some drinks on board. It's a beautiful day. This water is warm. The air is warm. What more can you ask for? So we just get out of the marine park where there's actually speed limit even for boats. But uh, we're on the speedboat and now it's time to get some speed. Like like Ming the Queen, Tracy. Da ciao. <laughs> That was pretty fast. So the shipwreck that's there is actually just the front of the boat. The rest is about 25 to 40 meters uh, on the other side of the coral reef. Back in 1902, um, that ship came to Mauritius and met with a cyclone, which basically made it crash. And it's been there since then. That ship was supposed to go from Mauritius to South Africa, uh, but never reached uh, Mauritius, I guess. Music is getting louder. Full throttle. If you look just in front of you, mm -hmm. you will see Alors, mesdames, mesdames, it's a lighthouse on an island. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, th thanks for the invitation. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, well, I why love the go history go of it around it. Why we Time to go see the lighthouse island. Called the lighthouse island because, well, it's a lighthouse on an island. Very simple. Was a nice little spot perfect if you like taking uh, some photos there's a lot of good like photo spot in that 
lighthouse and now we're gonna go back on the boat and to be honest like they gave us like the itinerary this morning but I don't really remember it I know there's some more snorkeling and a beach and some food and whatever I don't know with that order so yeah this is an adventure yeah. I am made to be free So we're on our way to go see a waterfall with a beer, a local beer. So you might notice that the water is a different color here and the reason is the river and the salted water are kind of meeting here and this is why it's like a little bit more murky. They call this place the Amazon of Mauritius. Not the store, but the place with trees and rivers and waterfalls. And I can see why. It really, it's completely different than like the ocean where we were at. Completely different. It's a little river going through like trees and stuff. It's really, really beautiful. We've the logo. Are you working for the company or what? <laughs> my first time today, it's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so we just arrived at Il Osaire and Tracy's gonna tell you more about it. I was just here to say the, the French word for her. <laughs> I can't say it properly. So they drop you off on this island and for us we have 40 minutes. I don't know how much you normally have, but there's like a restaurant, a bar, a little market shop, beach, a whole bunch of stuff to do. It's really cool because after a while, like we've been doing like kind of sightseeing things. So this time we're actually able to get off, not necessarily snorkel, and enjoy some sun. And use the bathroom. Yeah, we do. So sweet, so sweet. So sweet, so sweet. Even though we're going to lunch right after this, I couldn't pass up a chance to get gelato. Now let's go eat. So sweet, so sweet. The captain is trying to steal my wife. Do you have, do you have second thoughts? No? Okay. the lunch it was really good the lobster was really good yes. Tracy doesn't really like lobster <laughs> and she said it was it. really good yeah but it actually was very enjoyable yeah and this is included with your tour just in case you're asking <laughs> If you want to see the second part of our Mauritius trip, make sure to subscribe. But otherwise, here a quick resume of yeah. what happened so far. Um, first of all, like bonfires, adventures, uh, uh, team on the ground here in Mauritius is fantastic. Like in the airport, it was just seamless. Before we yeah. even thought about where is the car, what do we need to do, yeah. somebody was here. Like I've never had to think of anything. So the itinerary is already made and like Jimmy is on it. 
Yeah. He's just like, okay, see you at this time, this, and he's just there. Like, I don't have to think about anything. Yeah. It's which amazing. Is, which is a great feeling. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Otherwise, Le Méridien, that uh, hotel was a true, a real, real five-star yes. hotel. It was fantastic yeah, from yeah. the staff to the room, to the food, to the yeah. uh, everything you were able the to do at the, at the hotel. Resort. Wonderful Often. hotel. I cannot recommend that hotel yeah. enough. And then we had our boat tour today, which is so much fun. The guys on that boat made yeah. that trip like The crew was amazing. the best. The two guys were so funny, just making jokes all yeah, the time. Good music. Uh, yeah, good music, <laughs> good music choice. Otherwise, yeah. the snorkeling, the stop at the different beaches, yeah. the lunch the was waterfall? really good. The waterfall was a nice surprise. Very nice. Being in the Amazon, the middle of Mauritius, that was cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Otherwise, we're just at our second location for the second part of the trip, so this stay is, tuned. This is all you're going to see in this video about it, so make sure to check <laughs> the next video. And otherwise, see you guys in the next, in the next video. <laughs>